Welcome to Pilates today and I have a back strengthening class for you and a little bit of spine mobility. So uh, this is fine if you have sciatica as well. Often with uh, sciatica, you've got to keep that spine moving uh, so it can try and help free up where you have that impingement. So um, pain-free movement or you just don't want that pain to get worse if you are having a flare-up. So we're going to be starting on the hands and knees. Now, if you can't go onto your knees, all you're going to do is lie on your back and just hug your, and you can even do it like I'm doing it now, uh, hug your knees into your chest and just have a little rock from side to side just to uh, loosen off the back a little bit. Um, and then from the rest of us, we are going to come into front um, or falls. So I have a block, but you don't necessarily need a block, maybe a cushion or something as well, but um, probably wouldn't even use those to be fair. So when you come into all fours, both wrists and elbows want to be under the shoulders and the knees want to be under the hips, okay? So the first thing you want to make sure is that the wrist, the space between your wrist and your knee is the same distance from your hip to your armpit. So often people will have their hands too close and then you can see my back has to round a little bit. So think of creating space between the rib cage and the hip. So really try and lengthen the spine and then pop the hands under the shoulders. My head is not looking up and I'm not looking down because that pulls the shoulders out of alignment. Your gaze wants to be maybe half a foot in front of you, somewhere there, okay? So from here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna tuck the tailbone down to the back of your knees, so round your pelvis, and then pull the tummy in. And each vertebra, you're gonna start pushing up towards the ceiling. And then when you get to the neck, just let the head hang. So I'm not actively pushing my neck down, I'm just letting it, letting it hang. Relax the back of your legs and your bum cheeks. So we want this movement to come from the abdominals rather than pushing with the legs. So really try and relax the back of the legs and the bums. On your inhale, send your tailbone to the ceiling. Now drop your uh, chest down, so bring the shoulders back. And now pull the shoulder blades down the back as you start to push the floor away and lift your heart. So even though my lower back is arching, I've still got my tummy pulled in. So you don't just want to hang out there, um, otherwise you're hanging off your spine. So still hug the tummy in. And then tuck the tailbone under as you exhale. Pushing the spine up towards the ceiling. Think of the shoulder blades opening up. And then inhale, tailbone to ceiling, have a shoulder roll lifting the heart and just gazing slightly forward, but still push that floor away and then exhale, tailbone under. Relax the head down, so just let the head hang. There's quite a nice stretch on the back of the neck. And then inhale, back to your cow. Again, push the floor away. The shoulder blades are trying to touch the back pocket. And then coming back, to a neutral position. So that's the starting position, okay? So that was just to loosen the back a little bit. We're gonna come into front line now. So if you've got really big boobs, or perhaps you're quite round-shouldered, or you've got a big tummy, you might want to pop a block just under the forehead. I'll just demonstrate for you. So you might want to pop the block just under the forehead so that your neck is straight. Um, and also, if you've got big boobs, it helps you to breathe. <laughs> right, so we're going to be focusing more on mid-upper back and really opening up the shoulders. So different options for your legs. You can have your legs like I've got them now, which is parallel. So they're in alignment with the hip. And my feet are flat on the floor. Or you can have them turned out and wide. So you shimmy the hips and then have your knees and your toes pointing outwards and have them nice and wide. And that actually helps to strengthen the bum a little bit more. And if you find you generally suffer with lower back ache um, or any stiffness in the lower back or the hips, this option will just give you a little bit more space 
but if you really do want to get more out of it in terms of uh, releasing the hips, um, just stretching off the muscles, then have the legs in that position. So I'm not really fussed with what position because I'm really focusing on the upper half of the body. So I'm just going to leave mine where they are. So we'll bring the hands down to the side of us, palms facing up towards the ceiling. So I'm actually just going to have a block there just so I can talk. So now when you're in this position, you want to start to draw the belly button away from the mat. So imagine there's a little ladybird and you're trying not to squish it with your belly button. So really draw the tummy in. Send your pubic bone into the floor and start to give your bum a squeeze. And then imagine you're trying to touch that wall behind you on the other side of the room. So really reaching the legs away. But my legs stay on the floor. So they light. I haven't got much weight in them because the pelvis is taking all the weight. But my calves are working, my quads are working, my ankles and my toes. Now roll those shoulder blades together and lift the hands and have the palms facing inwards. And then float the head up just a little bit. So we don't want to come all the way off of the chest. I want you to try and keep the chest down and really focus on this movement coming from your shoulders. So really try and open that up and then reach those fingers down towards the floor. So Pilates isn't just about big movements or small movements, it's about controlling it. So making sure that if your feet are down, they're down. And then relax and give everything a little shake. Uh, sometimes we just want to come up into these big movements, but it's like, actually, let's have control with what we're doing. So from here, palms are facing the ceiling. Let's do one more like this. So pull the belly button in. Send your pubic bone into the floor. Reach your legs away. So let your calves work your quads. Big shoulder roll. Bring the shoulder blades together. Float the head up. Bring the hands off the floor, palms facing in. And now really try and reach your fingers down towards your toes. Think of the crown of the head going in the opposite direction. So this is called a dart. So I want you to think of what a dart looks like. Long and, I want to say thin, it's not really thin. <laughs> and then bring it back down again. Good. Give your hips a little wiggle if you need to. So we're going to come into a variation with the arms. Now if you have any shoulder issues, you can stick to what we've just done. I'll give you a little something you can add on. Um, but if you, so like I said, if you've got any shoulder issues, you don't want to be doing the full version of what I'm going to be doing now if you have any pain there, because it can be quite intense on the shoulders. So from here, if you've got shoulder issues, you're going to keep your hands to the side, but have your palms facing downwards. And then for the rest of us, we're going to have the hands in the small of the back. Now you can lock your fingers together or you can just hold hands up to you. Okay, so belly button pulls in, pubic bone to the floor, engage your legs. Now from here, start to lift the head and you're going to roll those shoulders together and now try and get your hands down over your bum as you reach the crown of your head forward. Now, if you've got this variation, you're just keeping the palms facing down, but really try and reach those hands down towards the back of your heels. So squeeze in your bum cheeks, make sure that pubic bone is still down, and then release, hands to the floor or to the back. Good, so let's do two more. Belly button pulls in, pubic bone to the floor, reach your legs away. Roll those shoulder blades together, float the head up, and then reach those arms down. Now, if your arms are bent, that means that you're better off having your arms there, or you can hold a belt or a strap. But if your arms are bent, that just means there's something going on with the shoulders. So uh, best to leave the pulling down of the hands, just have them by the side of you. And then release, give a little wiggle. And last one, so belly button, pubic bone. Roll the shoulder blades together, lift the head, and now send the hands down over the back, or just have your hands, palms facing down, but reach them down to your toes. Make sure your toes are soft on the floor, but they are active, so calves are active, thighs are active, and then release. 
bring the hands under the shoulders and gently push yourself up. And then just a quick one, we're going to come back to what we did first. So wrists and elbows under the shoulders, draw the tummy in, gaze is slightly to the front of the mat, breathe in. And then as you exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Oh, lovely. And then relax the head down. Keep pushing the floor away from you. Relaxing the back of the legs and the bum cheeks. And then inhale, tailbone to ceiling. Have that shoulder roll again. Now lift your heart, gazing slightly more forward. Tummy is still pulled in. And exhale. Just have a little wiggle if you feel like I can feel on the right side. It feels a bit tight. And then inhale, back to cow, lift your heart, pull the shoulder blades down the back, hug the tummy in, and then come back to neutral. Marvellous. And then we shall come into seated. <laughs> it's quite hard to breathe when you're lying in your front. <laughs> so that was a chest opening and a little bit of back strengthening for you. Um, you know, most people nowadays need a little bit of upper back, well, a lot of upper back work and stronger glutes and stretching down the front of their body just because of uh, the nature of how we live day to day sitting down at work and then driving and then coming home and watching tv uh, so this is an excellent little routine just to counteract the effects of everyday life so take care and i'll see you soon